you need to know about hemorrhoids. There are many unpleasant symptoms and diseases associated with constipation. A hemorrhoid is one such symptom and many doctor or practitioners say, it's not a serious condition. As a natural nutritional consultant, I say, hemorrhoids is a condition you need to reduce or better yet eliminate. You need to listen to all the symptoms you have to decide if you need to take some action to correct the cause. Sometimes, just acknowledging a simple symptom is enough for symptom and the cause to disappear. Hemorrhoids, whether simple or severe or your body telling you there is something wrong somewhere and I hope you take care of it before it gets worse. Taking care of hemorrhoids or the symptom is not where you want to concentrate your effort. You want to eliminate the cause so you can get rid of your hemorrhoids. The first signs of hemorrhoids are when you need to take action. Don't wait until your hemorrhoids get large, give you pain, start bleeding or protrude. The first question you should ask about hemorrhoids is what caused them. What causes hemorrhoids? It is always the cause of an illness that you should be after. Doctors don't always have the time to determine what the cause is so they will treat the symptom or get rid of it for you. It's up to you to take charge of your health. I know you are this type of person, otherwise you would not be viewing this video. Hemorrhoids are caused by excess pressure in the rectal veins and the veins in the surrounding area. There are many causes of hemorrhoids of which constipation is a major cause. First, work on eliminating your hemorrhoidal symptoms using the natural remedies listed in this video. Then, work on getting rid of constipation and the other cause so that you can be free of hemorrhoids and the other diseases that could follow. In their book, Natural Prescriptions, 1994, Robert M. Giller, MD and Kathy Matthews gives you their opinion of drugstore medications. If you are suffering from hemorrhoids right now, you want immediate relief. What about all those over-the-counter remedies? Just last year the FDA clamped down on the manufacturers of these products, and some of them are being removed from the market, because they've never been proven to be effective. Other must limit their claims. Those that claim to shrink tissues, must carry a warning because people with diabetes or heart disease, for example, shouldn't use them. In the final analysis, while you may get some temporary relief from these products, you could do as well by applying zinc oxide, petroleum jelly, or witch hazel, which are just as effective and far cheaper. Many different natural remedies for reducing, relieving, and eliminating hemorrhoids are listed here. Since everyone is different in their chemical makeup and nutritional requirements, one remedy will not work for everyone. Each of you has to find out what remedy works best for you. Use the remedy that feels right for you, the remedy where you have the ingredients, or that one based on the severity of your hemorrhoids. What are hemorrhoids? Constipation, hemorrhoids or piles, and inactivity go hand in hand. If you have been constipated for quite a while, chances are you have hemorrhoids. If you are inactive because you just like sitting around, or are confined to a bed or chair, then you will have constipation and hemorrhoids. In the previous videos, I have talked about what is constipation, and what foods not to eat, and what foods to eat to eliminate constipation. The diet and preventative measures to take for hemorrhoids are the same for constipation. Eliminating constipation is the first step in curing your hemorrhoids. The next step is using natural remedies to eliminate your hemorrhoids. The third step is to increase your activity by walking, exercise, or other moving activities. These three steps can be done at the same time, especially if you have hemorrhoids that are itchy or painful and are in need of attention. Constipation. Constipation occurs when fecal matter remains in your colon 25 hours or more. You should be having at least two bowel movements per day, especially if you are eating three meals a day. If you are not, then you are constipated to the point where you may need to puff, push, or strain to have a bowel movement. Bowel movements must occur naturally. When your colon is somewhat working good and you are eating good food, then you will naturally have the urge to have two to three bowel movements per day. If you do not have two to three bowel movements per day, don't worry and don't force yourself to have them. Just start changing your diet as I have outlined in earlier videos, and as time passes, you will have a more natural bowel movement during the day. Enlarged veins. Hemorrhoids in the rectum occur when the veins are not returning enough blood back to the heart. When this happens, the vein walls do not receive enough oxygen and release a substance into the blood that causes them to swell and become inflamed. This swelling, causes the vein to become weaker and more likely to break when they are rubbed, like during a bowel movement. If your stools are hard, you have a higher chance of breaking a swelling vein. For this reason, getting your stool softer is one step in clearing your hemorrhoids. 
You can do this by eating a diet and using remedies that are directed at relieving constipation. On the inside just above, the muscle that closes the anus and into the rectum. They are near the surface of the rectum mucous membrane on the outside. They occur on the skin that surrounds the anus and protrudes or hang outward. On the outside, they are called a prolapsed hemorrhoid when they occur inside on the rectum and come through the anus and hang outward. In a way, hemorrhoids can be considered varicose veins of the rectum. Just like varicose veins in the legs, the rectum veins become enlarged and come to the skin surface and bulge out. Hemorrhoids occur when you are constipated for long periods, sit for long hours, lift heavy items, or are pregnant. If you're constipated, you're probably having a difficult time having a bowel movement. And when you do, your stools are usually small, hard, and dry. If you have to push and strain or sit on the toilet for 10 to 15 minutes, then expect to have hemorrhoids at some point. 2 to 3 minutes is all you normally need to have a natural bowel movement. Over 85% of the population has hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are a sign that fecal matter is not passing through your colon as it should. Simple hemorrhoids are not dangerous to your health, but hemorrhoids that have been building for a while will cause you some discomfort, such as mucus discharge bleeding showing up in your stools or dripping into the toilet water, itching on the outside of the rectum pain in the rectum area, and during a bowel movement pain in the rectum area, when you sit soft bulging area in the rectum or anus that give you a sensation that something is there. Health alert, see your doctor if your hemorrhoids are painful, have excess bleeding or stools have changed in color from medium brown to dark brown or black. Hemorrhoids typically don't itch. If they itch most of the time, this may be normal. If they itch only at night you may have pinworms. In her book, Digestive Wellness, 1996, Elizabeth Lipsky, m.s.comac.c.n, tells you how to check for pinworms. Place a piece of tape around your finger, sticky side out. Put the tape on your anus, pull it off and check for worms, which look like moving white threads. If you are checking one of your children, you can use the tape method or just look. Another cause of rectal itching is called pruritus ani, which can be caused by food sensitivities, contact with an irritating substance, laundry detergent or toilet paper, fungi, bacterial infection, parasites, antibiotics, poor hygiene or tight clothing. How hemorrhoids are formed. Veins move blood back to the heart, and arteries move blood to various parts of the body from the heart. So veins that surround the rectum and anus take away cellular waste from this area to the liver to be detoxified. When you have a bowel movement, the veins in the rectum and anus expand and return back to normal when you finish. When you have constipation, and you push and strain to have a bowel movement, the veins along the rectum and anus have increased pressure. Over a good period of time, these veins become weakened, lose their tone and can become permanently swollen and large. This swelling is the source of itching and pain, when the veins touch nearby nerves. If the veins become large enough they can block the passage of fecal matter. What do hemorrhoids cause in your body? Hemorrhoids, do not cause any specific disease or illness in the short term. However, if you do not treat them, they can become large, block fecal matter, bleed and be a source of inflammation. If not treated, in severe cases, they can become a source of bacterial infection with heavy pain and discomfort, and then, can become the place where a serious disease can form. Hemorrhoids occur in stages, hemorrhoids, are slightly enlarged either in the rectum or on the anus. They do not hang down and generally do not bleed. They are in the starting stages and can be seen and felt. Hemorrhoids are not prolapsed, coming out of the rectum and hanging. But when you strain to have a bowel movement they swelling and decrease. When you finish your bowel movement, hemorrhoids are excessively prolapsed with straining. They push out of the rectum and hang out. They can be pushed back into the rectum. They bleed when you have a bowel movement hemorrhoids are large and protrude out of the rectum all of the time and bleed all of the time. The more severe your hemorrhoids the more chance you have of having them bleed. Many years ago, I noticed blood in the toilet water after having a bowel movement. The cause was bleeding from hemorrhoids, but my doctor didn't notice this right away. The result was he had me go through a barium enema, to see if I had internal bleeding. This process is not painful but was definitely uncomfortable. If you have bleeding, blood streaks in your stools, or dark stool, reread the chapter on stools. How do you get them? Constipation, is not the only way that you can get hemorrhoids. Here are some additional ways, alcoholism, being pregnant, doing daily heavy lifting, and holding your breath while you do it, eating foods that are bad for your health and cause constipation, general body weakness, having a predisposition to constipation or inheriting a weakness in the colon and rectum area. When you are constipated, 
Fecal matter is held too long in the rectum, and pressure is put on the rectum veins. Having a weak liver. Irregular eating patterns. Lack of protein leading to weak tissues and slow healing of wounds. Not eating foods that keep you constipation free. Not getting the right vitamins and minerals in your food. Being overweight. Poor muscle tone in the anal area from lack of exercise. Pressure on rectum veins from cysts or tumor in the colon. Sexual excess. Sitting in a chair at home, at work, in a car, or in a truck for long periods. Using laxatives to the point where your colon no longer works right and you end up with constipation. Let's go on to the next video. Medical treatment for hemorrhoid.